Hello, my name is Jupiter Hadley, and today we're doing a live version of Jupiter Plays All the Games, this time with the Yuki Student Game Jam. I was actually a mentor in this game jam and had a really fun time with it. It was a rather short game jam, just happening over a couple of days, and it had the theme Integrity. I'm playing each game for a minute, uh, 10 games per video. Links to the individual games in the description so you can check them out. And all my info is also in the description if you want to check me out. Thank you so much for watching and liking and subscribing. Next. We're playing Escaping the Integrity, but when you open up the game it says Escaping the Matrix, and I started it and it was really loud, so I've changed the volume. That's the only difference is you've got so far. Okay, so the buildings are falling. The buildings that we're on, okay. Not this first one, but the longer you're on a building, the more it falls. So I think you need to, like, jump and collect these. Actually, we probably shouldn't be collecting these yellow things. They make us go slower. Some of the buildings aren't falling. Darn it. I wish stuff was more centered. I find it weird it being so close to the bottom of the screen so often. Um, but I do like the characters running animation. Wow, I'm really not doing well now all of a sudden. I like the characters running animation. I like the background music. Okay. Sometimes when the background changes, it kind of flickers a little bit like it hurts perspective, maybe. This is neat. Next playing pitching problems. You enter the stage to warm up and begin to take a seat. Squinting through the harsh lights of the crowd, you see hundreds of expectant eyes and cameras screaming back at you. You take a deep breath and look to the interviewer. You can't miss this chance to get a big break for your fledge, fledging studio. Everyone back home is counting. So, the interview says, time to spill the beans on the big new project we're all excited about. What kind of game can we look forward to, and when will we be able to get our hands on it? Big promises have a higher chance of winning the crowd over, but is it right to make promises that you can't keep? How can you balance boring truths and interesting lies to get your game the support it needs? The square brackets indicate a chance an option has of winning the crowd over, but remember, even safe options are not certain to work. Let's start modern. The classic feel, the classic feeling fantasy experience releasing late next year. We are pleased to announce Sky Leap, an indie fantasy role playing experience with a classic feel set in an immersive world. We are expecting to release it late next year. Critical failure, oh my god. <laughs> right off the bat, amazing. <laughs> next. We're playing Forever Winter. Sounds terrible, wouldn't like it. I have no way to move. I went back to the game page to see if they had missed like controls and the game page says my first large scale game and I am exhausted. So well done completing a game. I like these weird fire de fire demons. These black fire creatures. They look like they could survive in winter. I like the snow effect, but I don't know how to move. Like nothing I do moves anything. So I'm guessing they just didn't have time. But it's very good they entered something and tried to jam. It's always a big learning experience and learning curve, especially if it's your first jam. Next. Vibe of the music a lot. 10 out of 10. We're playing Firewall. Okay, I'm this guy. I thought I was the orange guy, and I thought I was auto-running. I'm not the orange guy. Did I grab this? Those aren't stuff to grab. Okay, I'll just keep running. Oh, that was stuff to grab. Okay. Is this... Okay, yeah, we grab those. I didn't grab stuff for a while, so that's probably bad. Probably should have been. Okay. Because that's increasing. Ah. Yeah, game over. Alright, let's restart. I didn't know I had to grab those things. I thought these look like obstacles. <laughs> but I also thought it was the orange guy. So is this barrel? This is a barrel. The jumping and movement is a little bit floaty and being able to tell what I'm meant to be doing, like what I'm meant to grab and what I'm not is a bit difficult. It could be done by adding some sort of glitter or like animation to it or something. I'm gonna die. Yeah. I did better the first time. Neat concept. Next. We're playing taper cut. Kind of like paper cut. Tape. Oh gosh, I have no idea what I'm doing. I can kind of move the table and that moves that character. Oh, there are two characters. This is a two player game. Right, movement's a little weird because it also moves the world. There we go. 
fight. I like the idea of fighting. I like the big paper, but I'm not sure what I'm doing. Right. So I should be able to... The arrow keys person seems broken. Oh, they both seem broken. Oh no, they both kind of like stopped. Moving. They're in the pen. All right, draw. Ah, oh, they're just kind of stuck in the pen. Hmm, apparently you can interact and stuff. I don't know what interacting does. It says that we would capture the most points by interacting, I'm guessing, with these little orbs all around the, the screen. Um, neat idea. Just need some polishing and maybe a I'm stuck button. <laughs> Next. We're playing Taketh Giveth. Must consume. Okay. This looks ominous and creepy. Get fuel, live longer. Okay. Get points, grow island. Okay. Got it. Collect orbs. Left arrow, right arrow. Oh gosh, this is really cool looking. Got it. So if you are the opposite of what... Interesting. I can't describe how this movement is working, nor can I understand. But it kind of like pushes out from that one. Very confusing. <laughs> Which I guess is the like, point of the game. Okay. Once you get into like a pattern of it, it gets a little easier. I do I would be easier if I could color code the cubes. I don't remember what the little what the difference and these circles even do. Oh no, that, that was bad. Next, playing this just in. I don't know what I'm meant to be doing. I'm sure, let's publish I, We should inspect it. The hourly times. I think the answer is no. How do I say no? There we go. Doctor from Europe saves local years. Do that. Publish. Oh, people didn't like that. Publish. We're just gonna publish everything. Publish. Oh, look, it's looking better. New drug may help with vaccines. That makes no sense. Oh, they don't like it when the doctor saves stuff. Mayor's seen sacrificing critters to Satan. Yeah, that'll, that'll have some good ratings. Your dog is secretly a communist. I don't think we should accuse dogs of anything. The European doctor saves local librarian. Okay. The homeless are spying on you. <laughs> okay. No. Nukes all the Great Lakes somehow. No one noticed. <laughs> I don't know. This is quite a funny one. Their uh, actual itch paint is one of the best ones set up that I've seen. So just amazing for taking the time to do that as well. Next, we're playing Dark Moral. Enter the maze. Sounds like it might be scary. I hate scary. You're trapped. The only way out of the maze is to take five hidden keys through the maze and find the exit. So, okay. I was a little scared because I can move forward before realizing I was trapped. The music actually doesn't feel scary. It feels like adventure music, which is making me feel a little bit better. This is one. One. Oh, there's like a guy there. Let's go see the guy. Smiled many guys. You have made it to the exit. <laughs> oh, five keys. So I no I okay. Well, it's good to know where the exit is, but I have zero keys. So I'll be back later with hopefully five keys. And some numbers. So there's the number one. Okay. It's a key. I don't really understand what that did, but okay. Oh, is that the time of people's lives on the line? I'm in charge of all of those people's lives. I find that the key being on the ground also means I might not see it in these like dark corners. Next, we're playing Trash Toppler. I will read the how to play. 
Mm, it's color coded. Switch to cannon fire. Okay, move drop to left, rotate cannon up. I don't know if I just did any of that. Okay, so it drops food. Drops food, drops stuff. Is it a two player game? Oh, our goal is to make a pile. I'm only going to focus on one side because I'm a one human person. Please stop falling off. I need, yeah, something. Now I've got kind of solid walls on this. Focusing. Don't topple. Perfect. I really want this item. Hmm. Oh, yeah, actually, that helped, yeah. Oh, the banana, though. I hope we don't get negative points for, like, how much trash we wasted. It's kind of like pushing the... My concept is to just keep putting stuff on until something holds. That's fine. Let's see if we can do the other side in this time as well. This one's not got a lot of high ticket items. If, if we just spam it down. I do like physics, physic based games. I think that's a good use of the theme. And I like the graphic style in this one. Well, anyway, <laughs> next we're playing Knights of Integrity. WSD to move, left mouse button and right mouse button to attack. I don't block, to be honest. I never block anything. That looks legit. I did like that they kept in that little... I don't know what to call it. Cutscene? I think it was fun. This dungeon's dark. Haven't seen any enemies yet, though. Camera perspective is a little weird. There are some enemies. Let's find some enemies. I think my attack is slightly delayed to when I click, so it should be very interesting. Oh god, there's many. Okay, don't worry, I killed loads of them. Amazing. It's actually really easy to defeat people, so I don't mind at all. Oh. oh gosh. Don't think I have a health bar. <laughs> I thought the blue bar was my health bar, but I'm beginning to think maybe it's not. Hmm, they've got some good bones here. The world feels really big as well. Next. 